Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we're gonna build a tank today. Let's do it. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is we want mirror mode, obviously. Uh, that's gonna help us out. Let's, uh, let's stretch ourselves out a little platform here to work with. Uh, let's say this is going to be the size of our vehicle here. That's, that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and go in here and get some tank treads. Uh, you know what, for the sake of this, let's use the mediums. Oh, those are big. Those will look good, won't they? Yeah, we'll go with these. Why not? Uh, we'll need a, at least one drive wheel and several regular wheels here. Um, that's not going to fit. Will you fit there if I do that? Yeah, look at that. All right, so we could already see that this is, uh, we are already tanking away here. Perfect. Um, I don't like how this is just straight though, so I think what we'll do is we'll bring this up a little bit and then kind of give this an incline so it'll be able to kind of hop up on things. Let's do that. We'll get rid of those wheels there. Uh, what we can do is kind of come in here with maybe a long one like that. Is that going to give us enough on that? I don't think that's enough. I think we need to use the two by ones, maybe. I think that's better. I think that's better. Um, get rid of this whole area here. We'll do something like that. Perfect. And we can fill all that in a little bit later. Uh, let's go back to our tank treads here. I'm going to put that one way up there like that. We'll grab us another small wheel here like that. Perfect. Uh, let's spawn that in and see what that does to our tracks. OK, cool. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of lip up here in the front. So if we uh, we come up to a hill or something, it'll be able to climb it up a little bit better. I kind of dig this downslope uh, action we got going here. So let's leave that. Let's come and go ahead and go ahead in here. And wow, were those even words? Let's go ahead and jump back in the workbench here and uh, see what we can do from here. Uh, we're going to need to clear out most of our platform here. Uh, all that can stay, actually. Uh, we'll clear out most of this. We need to find where our motor is. And actually, to make this easier, let's do this. Let's put ourselves a drive uh, motor back here. And we don't have to fight uh, through some of those blocks. Uh, so we'll just power this one back here, and then that'll just be for looks. Uh, so from there, we'll delete these. Let's get ourselves a pipe. Great pipe. There we go. Uh, for the sake of it, let's go ahead and angle it. We can fill that back in. And yeah, we're, we're starting to get there. Uh, we can go ahead and fill in this front section here. Let's do that. We'll just fill in all that. Perfect. Nice. Call it done. There we go. All right. That looks pretty good, I might say. Um, that's kind of funky there, but... Hmm. We do this. Let's uh, we come back one more. Come on. We should be able to have that look a little bit cleaner. How does that look? Oh, uh, that looks better. That looks a lot better. All right, perfect. Uh, let's uh, do, 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 do. We'll fill that in. We'll, we'll come back and do those pipes later. Uh, let's get over here. We want to do, do, do that. We'll come in and we'll do a little sidewall like this. Oh, come on. There we go. Simple enough. Perfect. Uh, let's check that out. Make sure everything's still working. It's good to go. Where's the workbench? All right, so. Uh, for the sake of this, let's just do a, uh, we build an engine. Uh, let's just use an engine for you guys. Let's just do a regular medium engine instead of that way. We can just get this thing running and actually working. Uh, so we're gonna turn this around here. I want all my power in the back. Um, I'm guessing right about there should be good, uh, but centered. Uh, and this should give us enough room for clutch gearboxes, things like that. All right, let's get this thing hooked up here. There's a radiator. Let's see, where's air? Air can come down here. Where are you? Where are you? Perfect. There you go. That fuel, that's fuel exhaust. Come here, pipe it. And we are not building anything fancy today. We are literally building the bare bones uh, tank here. I just want to get you guys started so you can see what's going on. And then hopefully get you guys uh, building some tanks in here. Uh, let's get this set there. And then what was this? This was fuel. Okay, we can put a straight pipe on here. Straight pipe. And then we'll go tank. We'll just slap this big boy on here like so. It'll let me. Does that do it? Why is that not centered? 
Try that again. How about right? Okay, let's put a block there. I think this is what's going on. It just needed something to rest on. And boop, there we go. Yep. All right. So we've got fuel, we've got exhaust, we've got coolant, we've got no power, we've got air. Okay. Um, let's get a battery. And we'll slap a couple batteries down. You know what? Put it back here. Since we've got the room to put it back here. We'll do that. You know what? What the heck? Let's put another battery. You know what? We can, we can just Everyone gets a battery. How about that? Everyone gets a battery. Uh, let's go to get us. Let's get ourselves a seat. We can go ahead and put that down in here. Um, and why not? Compact pilot. It is what it is. Uh, so there we go. Cool. Um, I am going to need to add some clutches and things to here. So let's get this stuff all out of the way here. We'll delete that. Go back to our pipes. Go straight and closed. Um, here we can do clutch. And we need a clutch for each side so that we can control each one independently. Uh, or we can turn them both on at the same time uh, to go forward. Uh, and that will give us forward and twisty 360 motions is what I'm looking for there. Words. All right. Back to our pipes. Uh, we'll go up with that. And fill all that in. Fill in all that. So now we got to get to here to here. Uh, we need some gearboxes. Gear. Um, and I think what, for this one, we're going to do away from the engine so we get a little bit more torque out of this guy. Uh, let's go back to our pipes. We'll get ourselves a T in here. Back to that, back to that. Delete that, and we're going to steal that piece right there. All right. If, if, I'm, if I'm correct, I believe everything is hooked up. Now we just got to build our microcontroller, uh, which won't be a problem. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, let's switch this up and boop, boop, boop. Make things a little bit easier. Let's get ourselves a gin. I'll we'll slap that Jenny right there. Let's get ourselves our gearbox. And we wanna flip it back around because we want some high, high RPMs in this thing. Uh, so we'll go all the way, let's say three to one. And then what we'll get ourselves, we'll do some motors here. Some, some small, oh, that's a generator. We do have the batteries, uh, so we can do this. Uh, let's see, we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, let's hook everything back up. That seems pretty good. We need an actual throttle. Thor throttle, thr thr throttle. Give it some power. All right, so first of all, I think we need some more power in these. Uh, so let's, uh, let's delete these. Come in here and make it so we can actually put a bigger motor in here. Simple enough, we've got the space. Let's do it. You guys are gonna need some power. All right, let's put some gearboxes right there. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's build a microcontroller real quick. All right, we need six nodes here. Let's see, have I got them all? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit longer. There we go, perfect. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we need one more. There we go, all right, perfect. Uh, and let's organize these a little bit and figure out what we need here. First, we need our throttle input. We got our throttle input. That's going to be an input from that. And that is a number. We need another number here. And that's going to be our steering. Uh, so essentially, this is WS. And this is A and D. Uh, I can make this look a little neater here, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it the, the nicest way possible. There we go. All right. Next up, we're going to need... Left reverse gear and right reverse gear. And I'm actually noticing that I spelt it the way I said it. Let's let's take care of that. Revert, reverse, reverse. I don't even know if that's right anymore. Yeah, I've, I've looked at it too long. Uh, these need to be outputs. And those are going to go to the gearboxes that we just placed. We need to change those uh, second ones to a one to negative one. Uh, that way, these will activate. Uh, and the last two, these are going to be numbers. Left clutch and right clutch. All right, cool. We've got all that. Uh, let's uh, spin these around a little bit. Oh, oh, come on. You can go over there. You can go there. You can go there. What was this? Throttle, left clutch, steering, right clutch. I kind of want to change the position of those a little bit. Let's see. Left clutch, right clutch, steering, right, left. Okay, that's going to get confusing. Right, 
right, left, left. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's jump into the logic. Uh, first, let's uh, spread all this out. Oh no, I've got it all backwards. All right, so steering, steering and throttle, uh, those are good. Uh, we've got to fix uh, right clutch and left clutch. Uh, so let's go back. Let's change those to outputs, output and output. All right, perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so first things first. Oh, we need, we need one more. This needs to be longer. We'll do, nope, let's go this way. Let's add one more. This is a number, output, and this is throttle. This is gonna control our engine as we push down on WNS, A and D, and so on. All right, so throttle, we'll bring that up here. Let's, uh, let's get that working first. We're gonna need an ABS, an absolute value. We're gonna put that in here. I uh, also want an add block. So now we've got this, when we give it a W or an S, it's gonna turn it to a one signal. That one signal is gonna go into our add block and then it's gonna give it throttle. So forwards, backwards, engine runs. All right, where are we at? Steering. So we're gonna need another ABS. We can just copy, paste that. We'll come in, grab that signal. That signal comes up into our add block and into our throttle. So again, A or D, A being negative, D being positive, ABS makes that a positive value, comes into here, throttle is engaged and starts running. We're gonna grab ourselves a function block here. Ooh, not that function block, not that function block, just that function block right there. Let's grab that one, come straight into it. We're gonna need a couple more add blocks. So I'm just gonna paste these in here, paste these in here. There we go, easy enough. Uh, let's go ahead and give this expression a x times negative one, I believe. Uh, we need to make sure x gets in there. All right, there we go. Uh, how do I do this again? Okay, I think this comes in Okay, so throttle comes into the top one here. Steering comes into this one here. Throttle also comes into this one here and steering into here. Okay, so now, now we're getting somewhere. All right, we'll slide that over. So here we are, forwards or backwards. Inputs are gonna be coming into it. It's gonna send that signal over into our clutches, which they will then engage and then force us forward. And we'll have to do some more magic in here to get this working as far as steering goes as well, but that's the idea. Let's fix that. That was totally the wrong expression. X times negative one. All right, so we'll get a negative one value in here when we give an A or D. Uh, which will then help come down here and engage our clutches this way. All right, it'll all make sense in a minute. Uh, let's grab ourselves a clamp. Uh, I want two of these. Minimum value is gonna be a negative one on both of these. We can bring our, our numbers in here. And that just keeps us from over, overdoing the math here. Because th when you start adding the math in here, you end up with twos and things. So this just always keeps it a one. Slide those over. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're gonna grab ourselves another couple ABSs here, absolute values. There's two right there. Also gonna need a couple less thans. We'll neaten that up a little bit. Uh, we can neaten that up a little bit. And as you can see, we're we're pretty much we're pretty much there. So right clutch, right reverse, left clutch left reverse. All right, as far as here, uh, this is your throttle, we can move that out of the way. Uh, the clamp needs to come into our absolute value. And the clamp comes into our less than a value. And we can do the same on the bottom one here. Uh, and we're gonna do a constant number here. Where is that constant on constant number? We'll do that it needs to stay a zero. And we'll plug it in there. So let's see if I can make this make sense. Uh, the value comes in, 
it'll automatically be a one for here engaging the right clutch if it's for reverse if it's less than zero which is what you're giving it a negative negative number it will go to the right reverse clutch and the same down here it'll come down to the left reverse clutch the because it's coming down through these double signals over here because it'll be in both of these uh, the same thing if you're giving it a left turn an a signal uh, that is going to be a negative signal and that's when it will be less than this constant number and it will engage these left and right reverse clutches uh, depending on which way you're going right or left uh, so let's plug this in and see what we get out of this and see how well it works all right so just named it pnc tank steering let's give it a symbol here do 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 tank tank steering boot do, do tank is that like a tank uh p and c close enough close enough that works tank steering do 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 no something like that whatever uh all right let's find it here p and c there it is tank steering we'll plop it down here on the gas tank and yeah let's hook it up and see what we get with it uh so okay what's our first one here steering a and d steering a and d throttle is throttle all right right clutch right clutch left clutch left clutch uh left reverse gear right there right reverse gear right there and let's change these go ahead and make sure that we got these on a uh negative one here come back to this the other thing we need is our throttle uh, and we're gonna put the throttle on those electric motors and we're gonna use the engine here to run our batteries uh, if you weren't doing it this way you could just do uh, throttle straight to the engine and that should work for you as well but this gives you multiple options let's spawn that in and see what this does where is it uh, all right crank that engine all right, we have throttle. Perfect. I say throttle. Our, our engine's running to provide us electricity. Hopefully, it'll it'll keep us uh, powered up here. If not, we can just go straight back to uh, run it off the engine. So let's start. Uh, let's go forward. Oh yeah, we're we're good and fast here. All right, so we got forward. Let's see if we got reverse. All right, we are definitely flying. Uh, something's not right. Let's uh, let me see if I can figure this out. All right, I don't even think it was anything with the uh, microcontrollers. Uh, I think I forgot to put power to it. Uh, let's see if that fixes it. Cause uh, come on, come over there. Uh, we'll just test it here. Okay, uh, we've got left and right. Oh yeah, reverse. Yep, forwards. And yeah, there we go. Uh, it's backwards for me though, so we just got we just got our wires crossed. Uh, so other than that, uh, we're just gonna switch our signals here and see if that fixes it. All right, reverse, forwards, okay, right turn, left turn. There we go. Cool. All right, all right. Let's drive it around. But first of all, this thing's got way too much power. Uh, let's see if I can flip these around. Hopefully that'll change things. We'll flip those around. Uh, let's max them out here. The small, the small uh, electric engines are too weak and then the mediums are too strong. Let's see if we can get this thing just right. It's not great, but it's a lot better. It's, 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 it's manageable, which is, which is good. That's what we need. Still fast though. Look at it. Heck yeah. Get some air. All right, so everything was crossed here. Uh, let's see, throttle, left clutch, right clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and cross these over. So left is right and right is left. Uh, all that was mixed up in the uh, logic. So we swapped them there. So let's come in here and we'll just change it 
here. So left is now right. Right is now left. Left is right. And right is left. All right. That should be good there. Oh, yeah. Everything's working good now. All right. Cool. So that was it. That, that was uh, that was what we needed. Right on. All right. Woo. All right. We are we are burning some rubber now. 360s. Look at that. All right. Skirt. All right. There we go, guys. Uh, simple tank steering. Um, it's not the greatest in the world, but it does work. Um, if you're just getting uh, started in the game here, um, hopefully this will get you going. Um, it's uh, yeah. It's tank steering, guys. Woo! All right. 